<laughs> Pet the is, animal. That boots <laughs> this boots. son of a bitch. This is a really stupid move. She really loves whiskey. <laughs> Did it for the tribe. Yeah. <laughs> Number 10, we're starting okay. with number 10, number the 10. top favorite toast of whiskey drinkers. And the, things okay. that, the thing that you're gonna find in these toasts, mm -hmm. some are for any gathering, mm -hmm. any social situation where there's a drink that needs to be partaken in. Okay. I'm sure if that's a phrase, we're just gonna let it hang out there. Yeah. Fine with that. There's some toast, very situational. Oh, okay. You need to read the room, make sure this isn't gonna be too salty. Yeah. It doesn't land with a with a <laughs> plop. This is like the hallmark aisle of toasts. It is. We gotta walk through and it's like, that looks like a cool card, the but it's only, only for mother in only <laughs> The only criteria I gave the Whiskey Tribe. What? The Magnificent Bastards, our community of whiskey drinkers around the world. You need to be able to stand up in a room in the right situation mm -hmm. and gladly give this toast. Th with confidence. These are toasts that you would be proud to lay out there and let everybody raise a glass and throw in with you. Okay, so, so if you wouldn't be confident enough to do it, you shouldn't suggest These are the top 10 toasts they voted on. Like, there's lots, man. There were there hundreds. But we have to have whiskey for a toast. Don't no, read it of yet. Of course, of course. What are we drinking? Well, this is your job. You you have a role here. But what kind of toast is this? Give right. me a category. So let's, here, I'll tell you the toast. Okay. You tell me what whiskey needs to go with okay. the toast. Okay. Right. It's a pass around drink start a new vendor. All right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is gonna be an age statement whiskey. Age statement whiskey? Yeah. Okay. Kolila 12. Fair enough. Kolila 12. Now, with the Kolila, Kolila, how do you pronounce it? Kolila or Kulila? Kolila. Kolila. This is a, a Scotch Isla, right? Is Isla. Isla Scotch? Yeah. 12 year old. 12 year old Isla Scotch. To the past, present, and future, may we drink to celebrate the past. Mm. May we drink to enjoy what is before us. Yeah. And when the glass is empty, May it only be to start a new adventure. Ah, cheers. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good it's one. It's number 10. Okay. And the people who submitted these toasts, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put their names in the description. Okay. Uh, let's do here, let's do, oh, oh, okay. We, we dodged a bullet on this one. Huh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number 11 got real salty. Uh, number nine. Okay. So, new oak. Yes. This is a new oak This, this requires wood. I'm thinking Booker's. So this is a 2016-03 Booker No. Booker No. This yeah. is bourbon aged in new oak, and new oak is very important because the number nine toast is. As you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters never point your way. Mm. Yes, I like that one. Ooh. All right. The caramel cherry honey. Very nice. My turn. So it's this, cask, so we need cask strength. Oh, this next toast, this next toast, we're gonna need a cask. That's right, the cask. cask get, us, strength. get us something cask strength, Daniel, for this next toast. It's very casky. Oh, Glendronic cask strength. All right, Glendronic cask strength. Timing this perfectly. May your caskets be made of a 100 year old tree mm -hmm. that I shall plant tomorrow. Yes. Number eight. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah, it is. Number seven. Oh yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> so on this next one, Daniel. Yeah. We need an fu whiskey. Yeah, well I already know what that is. It's gonna be Stag Junior. Stag Junior, the ultimate fu whiskey. You ready? Stag Junior. Oh, Stag we Junior. We may have a bottle down since. Stag Junior just takes you around the block and kicks your ass every step of the way. Yeah, it you does. poured me a lot of Stag and Junior. And then at the end, you're like, thank you. You poured me a lot of Stag Junior there, Daniel. Yeah, I did. Uh, this one, is this your turn? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's my turn. All right, your turn. Yeah. This is number seven. Here's to you and here's to me. Friends forever we shall be. And if somehow we disagree, then fuck you. Here's, here's to, to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Woo! <laughs> you just gotta get your body moving when you're drinking stag. Yeah. Just to be able to huh, yeah. take, take it down with pride. I didn't know whiskey had balls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this next one. Uh oh, you know you know this. You're familiar with this one. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, I love that one, and that's an Irish toast. Ah, okay. So, so um, what do we need by this one? There's hearts involved. That's one of my favorites. It's all about turning hearts. Rex. It's about love and hearts. Rex. Love and hearts. Are you ready? Wait, wait. What does that say, Rex? That's Red Breast 12. What version, Rex? This is the cask. Wait, this yes, is it the is. Cask drink. I just found another bottle of it in Total Wine. Oh, nice. You ready? This is number six. Mm hmm. Wait for it. May those who love us love, love us. us. And for those who hate us, may God turn their hearts. And if He cannot turn their hearts, may He turn their ankles. Yes. So that we may know them by their limping. Cheers. I use that toast all the time, and you know what I heard it first? Yeah. The Keeping the Faith movie. Remember that with Ben Stiller and Ed, uh, Edward? Uh, it's so good. Hmm. It's a rom-com. Yeah, you do those. There's the next one. Mm -hmm. This is number five. Oh, wait, wait. One, we need two, to know what's going to be. So this toast, it's either going to be Ardbeg Cory Vrecken, Corey Vrecken that's where or Ardbeg Kelpie. You want the Cory Vrecken. Cory Vrecken. The Whirlpool. It's right. the number five toast. Is this number five? This is, I think, number five. I don't know. All right. Rich men live in a castle and poor men by the sea, but a whiskey glass and a nice ass. Sounds like home, home sweet home, home to, to me. me. <laughs> you can really taste the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so this next toast, very multi-purpose. You could say this in any situation and everybody's gonna nod and with approval and says, yes, that was classy. Oh, Blade and Bow. Blade and Bow, classy. No one has ever been offended. Classy by Blade, and, Blade and, Bo. and Bow. Oh, glorious. All right, pour us some of that. Blade and bow, we're going classy with the bourbon here. Now this toast, any number of functions. May you live as long as you want, and may you never want as long as you live. Cheers. Mmm, mm, that's good. Super classy. Yeah. It's just turned into a tuxedo t-shirt. I didn't even see you change. Number three, Daniel. The number three most popular toast, according to whiskey lovers, the toast that they like to trot out. It's my turn. I know, I know. Oh, that's a good one. That's it. We need something. Oh, yeah. what about this one? Scallywag. Oh, yeah. The scallywag with a dog on the front. Yeah, that's the 13 year old space side blended. We were thinking of maybe either the wolf burn, but we or landed on one. the scallywag. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little bit more. It's an adorable scamp on the label there. Daniel, if you please, the third most yes. popular toast. To our dogs, may we become the people that they believe we are. Dog toast. Mmm, space I'd blend. Yeah. That's oh, a lot of sherry in so there. Raisins. Yeah. Maximum raisins. Maximum raisins. All right. The second <gasps> most top rated. I need to read the first one. The second highest rated, the second most favorited post according to whiskey lovers. You know what I feel like right now, though? Mm hmm. You know when someone's trying to pick somebody for something yeah. and they're doing that whole any, mini, miny, mo? Right. And there comes a point at which you realize you're going to be. The one who wins? Well, you thought you were going to be the one who wins. Yeah. I have an honorable mention in uh, between two and one. Ah, uh, I wanted to be reading the one one. Yeah, that's that's adorable. All right, so um, this is the beginning of a long toast. All right, Lefroy 10. This is put another on your big boy pants. This is another multi-purpose toast. Any number of situations, this will be just just perfect for. May the best of our past be the worst of our future. Cheers. So the rest of that toast, it's a wedding toast in Scotland. Yeah. May the best you've ever seen be the worst you ever see. Yeah. May the mouse never leave your pantry with a tear in his eye. May you always be healthy until the day you die. And may you be as happy as we wish you now to be. Yeah, that wouldn't fit the poll. Okay, Daniel, the, before we get to the number one toast, there's an honorable- That's why I have to read the honorable mention. I think you should read the honorable mention. No, the honorable mention, trust me. You're the one that came up with it. You want me to do the number one. What's the honorary mention? Uh, the, honor the honorable mention, I, this was pretty highly rated. I didn't put it in the finalist. Okay. Because, and this is me, I skewed the results. I feel so adamantly that this must be very, very high in the list. That even though it was going into the finals, I said no. I demand that this have a place of honor that people don't even get to vote. <laughs> That's, what uh, happened to you being the man of the people? That's an elaborate excuse because I actually forgot to put it in yeah. the votes. <laughs> but this is, is very, it's very popular in our community. Okay. It's very simple. Okay. Daniel, you know what the toast is. What are we pouring for this toast? An Irish that's not boring, an Irish that doesn't scare people away though, because this toast is the embodiment of you're sitting down with people and you may not necessarily know them very well. This toast is a fantastic way to set the tone for this gathering to make sure that, uh, yeah, everybody feels like they are welcomed and good times are about to be had. Oh yeah, and that's definitely a green spot. It's mm. just, no matter what category you love of whiskey, you're gonna, you're gonna dig green spot. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. All right, 
Is it my turn? It's your turn. There are no strangers in whiskey. Cheers. I love that toast because icebreaker. It's the ultimate icebreaker. You're sitting down with some people you don't know. Oh, it's so easy to say that to a stranger. There are no strangers, hey, there are no in, strangers whi in whiskey. Yes. Oh, that's so good. So I have a toast that's gone back in the Whittington family for hundreds of years. Do you? Okay, yeah. we're, we're about to do number one. But you have to be in the right mood for it. You okay. got an honorary. I feel like I should get an honorary. Sure, sure. Uh, it's you have to be in the right mood. It has to be the right moment. Mm -hmm. And there has to be the right, you know, solemn level of attention being paid. Right. It can't be in a loud room. You do enjoy attention. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are you ready for it? I'm ready. I don't know if you're ready for this. Oh, I, 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 hold on, hold on. You ready? Glasses up. Mm. Here's to me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, yuck. For Daniel. Yeah. The number one toast. Yeah. The most favorited toast of whiskey drinkers around the world by a pretty healthy margin. Yeah. This is all attitude. It is, and it is has more to do with like, let's just drink whiskey and quit ja jabbering. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really Rex's favorite thing. It's like, I'm, look, you just I'm keep talking and we're still not I'm drinking. I'm wondering if the community granted me this granted me this toast as a gift. As for Rex month. Because they know, <laughs> I just want Daniel to shut up so we can drink the whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I think they did. I think it was so, a gift. What, what is a whiskey that's all attitude? What elicits just... Octomore. There's ZFP. Or Octomore. Brimstone. Oh. oh, it's definitely attitude. It's but it's attitude. not enough complexity that you want to live with it. Well, this look, this isn't complexity. Okay. This, is, this is a relatively straightforward, attitudinal... It's not a word. I don't think it's a word. Maybe it's a word. Okay. Brimstone. <sighs> you ready? Liquid attitude. Doesn't get much more attitude than this. It really doesn't. As you pour this... The number one toast. If water was whiskey and I was a duck, I'd swim to the bottom and never come up. Mm. But water's not whiskey and I'm not a duck, so pass me the bottle and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Classy crew we got there in the tribe. Cheers. Classy crew. <laughs> oh, there's that brimstone. Uh, I mean, it's, mm. it's licking a charcoal briquette. We've said mm. this. Complete with all of the fuel, like the kerosene chemicals, and with like a with like an old school hunting cabin where every <sighs> single piece of furniture is made from some sort of polished <sighs> wood. <clears throat> <clears throat> polished wood. Okay, Daniel. There's actually one toast that I I said we cannot put this in there. It's the official toast of the whiskey. Okay, tribe. but we should end with it. Yes, of course. You ready? The official toast of the whiskey tribe. Because if this was included, it would be now, number one among the magnificent bastards in the community by far. I've been pouring all my whiskeys into this glass since we started, mm. and I think that's a good way to end a blend of all the toasts. I think you are quite I think right. I just spilled some. Quite right. Okay, Mr. Ready? Whittington. Quite, quite now, right. Now this toast. Quite right. This is actually a very old toast. I think it's very, very old Irish toast that goes way, way back, and it's longer than what we do. We chopped it for time and for for cadence and rhythm. Cadence, yeah. Right. So the, the 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 full toast. We'll put that in the it's description below. At least below. four lines. We'll put the there's. Oh, we're not gonna say it though. Yeah. No. Okay. We'll put the full toast in the description below. But our official toast in the whiskey tribe mm -hmm. is. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. We have a rather large truck. What does this truck have in it? It has all of our grain for our whiskey quest. It has our mare cider grain Ooh, for our whiskey. Is this the, the single malt? Yes. So people on the Patreon are helping us design a whiskey. And this is the shipment of grain that they voted on and selected. No, no, it's no. What are you brewing with that? I'm going to make a dry Irish stout. Oh. There's a band called the Blackguards, and they want me to make a beer for them. So it's going to be Blackguards Dry Irish Stout. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. And that's the grain for it right there. Awesome. Darwin? Darwin, you made a lot of people very happy today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to cut all these open, dump them onto the floor of the gym, and then swim in it. <laughs> and then we're going to distill it. Yeah, after that. Yeah, where do you want the grain to be? We're in the new, what was the gym? And then now the barrel warehouse. And this is going to be, we're gonna knock down this wall or put a big giant door in it. And then there's gonna be a ramp going out. Oh no! There we go.
There goes Daniel. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wanna know why Deb is the best? Cause she's carried more of these bags than any dude here. <laughs> and whenever it started to tip out of the truck, she ran towards the grain and the heavy equipment when all of us ran. <laughs> this is a really stupid move. She really loves whiskey. Did it for the tribe. All right, thank you guys. Oh. It's time. That is the animal. That boots, <laughs> this boots. son of a bitch. <laughs> How do you whiskey Rex? With magnificence, I don't have a coin. Come on, let's go get a yes. drink. <laughs> We're buying him a drink. Dude. <laughs> Mooched from the mooch. You magnificent bastard. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're in luck. <laughs> no, I gotta go. <laughs> Didn't but, have the coin. But that's the classy the coin, thing. Yeah. We bought the second yeah. round. Of course. Because well, that's works. what you do.